All right, quick instruction how to bind a multi-module transmitter to a Jumper R8 receiver and get 16 channels out. We were going to have eight channels uh, connected to the pins on the receiver. And then we're going to use a same ended servo cable to connect it to a PPM PWM SBUS uh, converter. All right, so eight channels on the receiver, eight channels on the SBUS, but we'll have to set which are which. All right, so the SBUS converter then sends out standard server signals to a servo and to an ESC, and the ESC is providing via its BEC uh, power to the converter, and then the converter provides the power to the receiver. All right, that's the idea. Um, you can go into the menu on the, in this case, Radio Master TX16S, and you need to select the FreeSky D16 module, and then you can bind. But I found that you can't simply, if you do this, you see that you have four options, and these should be in software. It should not require, as far as I understand, any jumpers, like not the brand, like a physical jumper on the receiver. But that does not seem to be the case. Um, it behaves very similar to the FreeSky XR, X8R receiver in that it supports jumpers to set the settings on the receiver during bind. I'm going to go channels nine to 16 on the receiver and channels one to eight on the converter. And you can look that up on the manual for the FreeSky X8R receiver. We need to bridge the signal ports, so the yellow ones on this receiver. And you can get a more professional jumper than what I have here, but all right. Then we need something pokey to poke our button here and yeah so let's go for 9 to 16 telemetry telemetry off we go in the bind button here we press down here and then we switch the whole thing on just takes a second this bind button is off now. I power down everything, take out the jumper, very important, and I can now put in uh, another servo that is driven from the receiver, so directly, not via the SBUS converter. I'm going to plug it into channel 2, switch on everything again, takes a second to boot up. The green light is always flashing, quite annoying, but uh, the important thing is that the blue light, uh, which you probably can't, barely can see that they are two different ones. So the blue light is constant on, which means the ESPA signal is within range for the converter. All right, so we have one motor. We have one servo here and then with this slider we're driving the second servo. All right so that is how you can have eight channels on a receiver and another eight channel uh, on the SBUS converter giving you 16 channels for a relatively cheap and compact um, setup. All right, thank you very much. See you next time.